Hey, you guys here for another Android video. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys a very cool launcher that I've been using lately. It's called Flow Home Launcher. And this is in beta. And I think, as of right now, I think it's still only by invitation only. I think you could download the app from the Google Play Store, but I think to use it, you gonna have to ask for an invitation code i don't know if, if that's still active because i did use this a couple months ago and then i stopped using it and now i started using it again because it got a lot more updates uh, but what flow home is it's a app or a launcher that replaces your home screen with a long 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 like you see there long list of all your sources uh you can actually put a flip um Instagram, um, let me see, let me go and show you guys all the accounts you can actually put here. Feed, manage services, and you can put Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Connect Feedly, which was the latest update. Um, you could Instagram, and that's it. Right now, those are all the sources that you can put there, and that way, everything will appear in your lock screen or in your home screen which is awesome um, you can also change the theme as well if you don't like seeing too many tiles you could go ahead to single dark and it still looks very cool look at this uh, let, let, let it load uh, right here if you click down if you click there um, all your feeds you force it to load um, right now you can also control um, how frequently the sources uh, refreshes um, you could do that as well but if you want to force to refresh you could just tap right there or slide down and when you see this pulsating that means that it's refreshing it looks very cool i like it uh tap right there again you can go ahead back to themes and you have a couple more options there to change to but this is the one that i like um you can also change this right here, this background that you see behind my picture, you could go ahead and change that as well here in custom header. You could choose any image from here. You could go ahead and choose a wallpaper. Uh, let me go ahead and choose this one right here. And of course, you could see, you could go ahead and, and move this to whatever you want it to be visible. I could go ahead and choose that right there. And once you do that, look at that you got the background change right there looks very cool tap right there again you can also change the picture right here the picture that you see right there you could change it right there choose any picture um this right here transparency uh this is this right here the notification by default is going to look black but if you wanted to make it transparent you're going to have to click right there and then you make it transparent here you got fahrenheit and celsius uh, you can make it left-handed if you are a left-handed show hide apps uh, show widget which is another great new feature for this uh, you tap it right there and once you do that you will be able to slide down and add widgets uh, this is of course an experimental right now but it works very good and if i'm not mistaken you could keep adding more widgets if you want there uh, right now i have only two which is pocket cast and my s note app and it works very nice pretty rusty relative you see there and of course here i could go ahead back again to the settings or you could tap right here to the settings uh like you see here you can see the weather right here and you can see the uh, calendar or the date right there uh, when you first tap it you will be able to choose what weather app you want um, I chose Yahoo because it's my favorite Yahoo. It's my favorite weather app. But you could choose whatever weather app you want. Same thing over here. When you click on the date, you will be able to choose whatever calendar you want. But the one that I chose was the Google Calendar, which I like it very much. And that's it. But other than that, uh, right here, if you see a news you don't want to to read, you just go ahead and select like that, swipe like that, swipe like that, and it goes away. Like you see there goes away uh, you could tap on one of them if you tap on one of them from here you could go ahead and heart it if it's on a Twitter if I'm not mistaken uh, you could retweet it you could go ahead and share it with any social network whatever or you could click right there and click there and it'll take you to the Twitter app same thing goes if it's a link to a website uh, same thing is going to go there as well if you have another app like Instagram and you tap on it, it's going to take you to the Instagram app. So um, other than that, when you swipe this side, you're only going to be deleting tiles. Like you see there, you're only going to be deleting tiles. Um, this right here 
is a shortcut for all your most used apps and the great thing is that you can actually put any app that you want there like you see these are the most apps that i'm using right now and you can just tap on one of them and automatically it's going to launch it with no problem whatsoever and it works good when you're um one-handed use when you're one-handed use you tap right there and boom automatically you just go ahead and choose whatever app you want uh, this is the draw the draw is um like you see there plain black background uh, maybe in the future we're going to be able to change the background to transparent which i hope that's the update that comes out uh, later on or you could hopefully you could put a wallpaper in the background um here if you want to search very fast you could tap right there and go ahead like that and start tapping and like you see there you can see any you can search anything by just typing if you want see there very cool and if you want to add a app to your launcher to your quick shortcuts you could go ahead and tap and hold right here tap and hold you can hide the app from your draw or you could go ahead and create a shortcut click there and you can see there let's go ahead and choose another one the spider-man choose there boom and now when i go back here look at that the apps are right there and of course if you want to delete something from here you could tap and hold and just remove you want this to only update only via wi-fi you could turn this on that way it will not you know um spend too many um battery power and honestly i don't see this app burning too many battery power so i don't have a problem with battery power Okay, so that is it for this video. This was a look at Flow Home. This is in beta, and I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to leave a link to the app in the description. That way, you can go ahead and download it and maybe ask for a uh, code if you actually need a invitation or something like that. So thanks for watching the video, guys. This was Flow Home for Android devices.